guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Empty Paradise's Cars and Collectibles. So today's video, we're doing an unboxing of a Hot Wheels L case. This one, I don't know if you can kind of tell, it has a little bit of smush damage, and there is like a little bit of like crush damage on this corner. Uh, I really hope that everything inside is going to be all right. And uh, this case does have some really awesome cars. I will say, like, if something does happen to any of them. This is a great opportunity to, to be able to open them up, put them on the six lane raceway, and be able to have cars for that. But there's some cars in here I really do not want damaged. But let's go ahead and bust this open. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tape. Let's see. And then yeah, this is all, all damaged, but hopefully, hopefully it's all good. So let me just go ahead and carefully lay these on their side because I don't want to disturb anything or cause like any further damaging. Alright, not gonna see inside quite yet. Alright, I'm gonna just slide these back and let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. So we're gonna start right up on top, right where some of that crush damage is. Alright, so we got the quick bite, then the mock it go and the bricking speed. And the bricking speed just has like a minor, minor little corner damage, but not bad at all. Especially for like how bad the package is looking. All right, let's see the next few. Okay, so we got the Chrysler Pacifica, the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, and the Rescue Duty. Oh, okay, we got some really cool cars in this one. So we got a new Batmobile in white, the Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2, and then the 83 Chevy Silverado. All right, so the Mod Speeder, the 87 Dodge D100, which that looks kind of cool in that, like that bright pink. And then the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. This is actually a Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner last year, I believe. And it did come out in white. So it's kind of cool seeing it in purple and all the other color combinations that they came out with. Ooh, here we go. This is one of the cars I've been excited about. Well, not the brick and motor, but the Tune 1994 Toyota Supra. And that thing looks absolutely amazing. Let me show you the Trouble Decker which is also a really cool car. It's obviously a double-decker, but kind of like a hot rod version. It has a little spoiler thing on the top. But this right here is one of the cars I've been super excited about. And the 1994 Toyota Supra in tuned, obviously the Fast and the Furious. And we did see the Charger recently come out, so it'd be kind of cool to hopefully get a damaged one of these. Like, it would be kind of bad and unfortunate, but... I do want to be able to open one up and just like have it with the six lane raceway, especially racing against the regular, like the actual scaled Toyota Supra. And then also racing the tuned Charger versus the tuned Supra. That'd be a pretty cool race as well. But wow, that looks really cool. Like obviously like the nose, like, I don't know, like even you can see the picture, it looks really, really interesting there. Wow. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside. I'm really hoping I can get another one of those so that I can at least have an opportunity to be able to open one up. Or maybe I'll talk to some friends and maybe if somebody else gets one that's damaged, I can just do a one-for-one -one swap and then be able to open one up and it's not like I'm gonna be opening a perfect condition one. But let's continue on. We got Mock It Go, El Segundo Coupe, and the Roland Solo. All right, the 72 Stingray Convertible, the Dodge Viper RT10, and the 73 Honda Civic Custom. Kind of hung up on each other here. Ooh, okay. So we got the Koenigsegg Jamera, the Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0, and the 10 or 2010 Camaro SS. Heck yeah, we got a, another Toyota Supra tuned, and this one was actually kind of hung up on the others. 
the little hook is a little curved, but there are no creases at all. So, but it still looks pretty awesome. We got another one of those. I did not expect two in a case. I was just kind of hoping, but didn't think it was going to happen. And then we got the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 and another Batmobile. Oh, okay. We got some good cars in this one. The Corvette C7 Z06. And then the uh, 2007 Ford Mustang. And this is like the Falcon kind of race livery. I know a lot of people collect that. And it's also a really awesome race team in like real life. So that's really cool to be able to see that one. And we also have the Hot Wheels Papa Wheelie. Okay, so we have a Dune Crusher, a Ford Mustang Mach E 1400, and the Volvo P1800 Gasser. And this was a recent Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner, as you can see right there across the top. And then even on the back, there's like a little photo of like the little winning picture. So that's actually pretty cool. And then the first or the last three of the first half of the case got the Roland Solo. Another 2010 Camaro SS, and then the Volkswagen ID Buzz. So it's kind of like the new version of the old school like Volkswagen bus, but I guess like the one in real life is going to be all electric, so that's kind of like the new kind of updated variant. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys like that, or if you guys prefer like the classic Volkswagen bus that everybody knows and is super iconic, or do you like the new electric version? But let's go ahead and get started with the second half of the case. All right, so we got the Mazda 787B, another Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0, and a uh, 1987 Dodge D100. Oh my gosh, we just got we got the super guys! <laughs> Look at that, we got the uh, 1965 Mercury Comet. Cyclone and that right there is the super treasure hunt. I Honestly, I forgot about that. I was so worried about the Supras. I Oh my gosh that you can see the super tre treasure hunt logo right there uh, You got the little th right there in the rear fender in white. Oh My gosh, we just got the super treasure hunt as real riders tires um, like the paint is like the spectra flame paint and Luckily, there is not a cracked blister, which that would have been really unfortunate. But let me try to shift the car. You see the treasure, Super Treasure Hunt logo right there behind the car. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Like, like finding a Super in a case like this is not that common. So being able to find one is absolutely amazing. I am I'm blown away right now by this. Like, this is so exciting. Wow, okay, that is... Like I said, honestly, I was just so worried about the Supras. I, I completely forgot about the opportunity, and it's been a while since I've gotten a Supra from a case unboxing. So, wow, that is absolutely incredible. So I'm actually going to set this aside so that nothing happens to it. Um, we'll try to contain my excitement, and let's go ahead and move on with the rest of the case. So we have another Batmobile, and it is from The Flash. I didn't mention that before. Uh, Dodge Viper RT10. Oh, that is really cool. So we have another coupe clip, but a brand new recolor of that. We did see it in like a silver at first, and then a maroon, and then uh, black and gold, and now this blue. Kind of like a red, white, and blue is a little white accents, but that's pretty cool. And if you did not know, it's actually a keychain. Then we have a Mod Speeder and a 69 Shelby GT500. Alright, so we have the Limited Grip, the Track Manga, and another Trouble Decker. The 72 Stingray Convertible. BMW 507 in the drone duty. All 
All right, we got the Roland Solo, another Mazda 77B, and 83 Chevy Silverado. All right, so we got the El Segundo Coupe, and this is actually a like kind of like the original car, the Clip Coupe was based on, well, it's not really a real car, it's like a uh, um, kind of like made up car from Hot Wheels, but then the Coupe Clip in this car, pretty much the same thing. That's just the one with the actual wheels, and that's just like a, a keychain variant. But we also have the new DMC DeLorean in this like really nice matte blue color with some really cool stripes, white wheels, so that looks really good. And then the Lolux. Alright, so we got the jackhammer, the brick and motor, and then the power panel. Ooh, that's another nice new color combo. We got the Aston Martin Vantage GTE and a golf livery. We did see this in blue before, but now here's the white variant. The drone crusher and limited grip. All right, so the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, the Volkswagen ID Buzz, and the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.0, 2.7. All right, so then we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, Lotus Amira, and the Toyota Land Cruiser 80, which that looks really nice. And the final three for the case, we have the Eric Rod, the 1956 Corvette from the Barbie movie, and then another BMW 507. All right, guys, so that was absolutely amazing with this Hot Wheels L case. I mean, like I said, it did come in pretty damaged. Some of the cards that were on the very bottom did have like slight little bends, which is kind of like in the hooks. Uh, nothing too major, so uh, I'm actually really glad though that the Super did not come in damaged, but that right there is absolutely amazing, and I really did not expect that. Like, I kind of honestly forgot about it because I was so caught up with the new Toyota Supra. Let me dig that out of here. This right here is what I was like super excited about, and honestly, I didn't even think I would get a Super from this case. So I was like, okay, well, at least I'll get a Supra. Maybe I'll get two of them. Who knows? But then ended up pulling the Super Treasure Hunt. So, wow, that was absolutely exciting. Um, I do have another Case L coming. That'll be here maybe in like a week or two. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. But I do a bunch of other videos with case unboxings, other Hot Wheel races. Like I said, I kind of want to get one to be able to open up and race. So, also, subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any of those videos because those are super awesome, really fun, and I even do uh, YouTube shorts and let people kind of pick different cars to race, kind of like viewer's choice. So definitely check out all of that stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned for all that. But if you guys like this video, definitely go down and hit that like button down below and let me know what you guys think of this case unboxing. And also, do you guys like this super, the Mercury Comet? I mean, honestly, if they would have made that the Super, that would have been insane. But we can't always choose. <laughs> but uh, if you guys like the video, like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, thank you for watching.